Today we're talking about why my wife Erin and I decided to pack our bags and move all the way from the west coast to the beautiful Lake Norman area here in North Carolina. If you're considering moving to Lake Norman and want to know why this place has become a top destination for so many, you do not want to miss this video. Lake Norman is a fantastic location, nestled just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina, and it's perfect for anyone who loves outdoor adventures and lake activities. Let's dive in. Hey there everyone, my name is Mike Tosti, also known as Lake Norman Mike, and I am the lead broker for the Lake Norman Mike team here in beautiful Lake Norman, North Carolina. And if you're not familiar with this area or just want to learn more about it, you're in the right spot. So sit back and get ready to discover why Lake Norman is the place to be and the top five reasons Aaron and I made the move. I'm a realtor and my team works here in the Lake Norman area. So if you're looking for a great team, we'd love to work with you. And also if you could, like and subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. All right, let's get into it. Here are our top five reasons why we made the move. The number one reason we moved to Lake Norman, North Carolina is lifestyle. I wanna share a personal story with you about my experience as a boating enthusiast before I moved to Lake Norman. Towing our boat to the lake was such a big hassle. From the limited space in our garage to the strict neighborhood HOA regulations on parking boats overnight, we had no choice but to store it at a facility. Think about this, it meant hitching it up, driving for a half hour of the lake, launching it, taking it out of the water, hauling it back home, and dropping it off at storage again. It was just such a drag. And truly, it always made us think twice before taking the boat out. But now, living on Lake Norman, it's a completely different story. We simply walk out to our backyard, hop in our boat, and take off whenever we want. It's incredibly convenient and has made all the difference in our boating experience. And being able to enjoy the lake throughout the day and of course our evening sunset cruises with wine, of course. <laughs> For those of you who may not have the option of waterfront living, there is always the alternative of dry dock storage. Your boat is stored under cover and ready for use whenever you need it. You simply call the storage facility, let them know when you wanna use your boat and they will drop it in the water for you at that time. Once your day on the lake has come to a close, they will take it back out of the lake, securely store it back in the facility and it's just that easy. Hey, but great boating is not all the Lake Norman area offers. Imagine hiking in the beautiful Blue Ridge Parkway with stunning views and fresh mountain air, just two hours away. And if you want a change of scenery, the ocean is only a short three and a half to four hour drive, making it the perfect weekend destination. Did you know that North Carolina has over 300 miles of coastline? This allows you to enjoy the best of both worlds, the tranquil beauty of the mountains and the refreshing sea breeze of the beach. And get this, after all your weekend adventures, you get to come right back to Lake Living on Lake Norman. It just doesn't get any better than that. But what about road trips? From Lake Norman, you can reach a whole bunch of desirable destinations, such as Charleston, Savannah, the Outer Banks, and Williamsburg in much less time than it would have taken us to travel in and around the state of California. So you sold yet? Lake Norman offers convenience, natural beauty, and easy access to exciting destinations. All right, number two reason we moved to Lake Norman, North Carolina is real estate property taxes and state income tax. Speaking of taxes, let me tell you, as a, someone who has been in the real estate game for what feels like a million years, I know a thing or two about tax increases. And in California, it felt like they never stopped coming. From state income taxes to property taxes, it was a never ending cycle. But here in North Carolina, we have a pretty good. For starters, the cost of living is lower, which means that even property taxes are much more affordable. Our current home in North Carolina would have cost us nearly triple the amount in California. So I'm pretty happy about forking over 9K a year here in North Carolina, where we would have been paying close to 21K in California. But when comparing North Carolina to the national average, we sit at 0.77% of assessed value as an average compared to the national average of 1.07% of assessed value. Keep in mind, this is the national average, and there are many states that blow right past that higher range of 1.07% easily. And when it comes to state income taxes, we've got it even better with a flat tax rate of 4.75%. In California, however, it's a whole different story. 
They have a sliding scale tax rate that goes up depending on how much money you're making. And let me tell you, the more you make, the more they take. Top earners can hit a tax threshold of 12.3% for state income tax. That to me is a bit crazy. Personally, I prefer the current flat rate tax here in North Carolina. And just so you know, it's going to be even better. The tax rate has already been passed to be lower to 4.5% in 2025. So if you're looking to keep more of your hard earned money, North Carolina might just be the right fit for you. All right, number three. The number three reason we moved to Lake Norman, North Carolina is cost of living. Let's talk about that for a minute. It's no secret that California is an expensive place to live. In fact, it's the third most expensive state to live in with a cost of living index of 148.2% of the national average. Can we all agree that living on or near a lake is a dream for many? Well, in California, it's a luxury that only a few can afford. Even if you manage to find a lakeside property, the cost would be outrageous. And for Aaron and I, even had we sold our home and cashed in our retirement accounts, we still would have been unable to afford it. Let me give you another example. During a recent trip to California to visit with friends, and of course enjoy some great vino in Napa, we were shocked to see gas prices at the time pushing $5.67 a gallon. Meanwhile, back in North Carolina, we were paying a much more reasonable rate of $3.09 per gallon. So even gas prices were just over 54% less here. You're probably more familiar with the cost of living index, but for your reference, North Carolina has a score of 95.4%, which places it below the national average and makes it 4% less expensive than most other states. In contrast, the place we relocated from in California was 48% more expensive than the national average. That makes the math pretty straightforward for me. Since North Carolina is 4% less expensive and California is 48% more expensive, we're saving 52% by having moved and living on the lake. It's no wonder that North Carolina consistently ranks among the top six states people are moving to and often lands in the top three, regardless of what reports you might be obtaining your data from. So if you're tired of being squeezed by high taxes, exorbitant housing costs, and outrageous gas prices, it might be time to consider a move to Lake Norman, North Carolina. Here you can live the lake life you always dreamed about at a fraction of the cost. Number four reason we moved to Lake Norman, North Carolina is the Charlotte Douglas International Airport. When Aaron and I are not busy working for our clients or enjoying beautiful Lake Norman, you will find us chasing the sun, sipping a few cocktails with our toes buried in the sand somewhere. Our love affair with Maui started with our wedding but since moving to Lake Norman, we've discovered a newfound love for the Caribbean, the British Virgin Islands, and St. Thomas. Yost Van Dyke's our favorite. And the best part, these tropical destinations are just a hop, skip, and a jump away from our home base. That's right, we have an international airport right in our backyard. We're talking about a ton of nonstop flights, easy access in and out of the airport. So for all you hardworking road warriors and vacation chuckies out there, having a world-class airport right in your backyard is a godsend. All right, number five, the reason we moved to Lake Norman. Okay, before we get to number five, if any of you watching are considering a relocation, I'd be curious to know what two or three things might be high on your list to contemplate making a move. Go ahead and comment below, and if there's anything else you would like me to cover in future videos, make sure to drop that in the comments as well, and I'll make sure to feature it in the future. All right, back to it. The number five reason we moved to Lake Norman, North Carolina, a sense of community. Now I have to admit, this was not even on our radar when we were evaluating where we might want to move. But after we experienced it firsthand, it did impact our overall decision to move here. Now I know everyone has heard of Southern Charm. Well, you can search the internet all you want, but you won't fully understand it until you've experienced it yourself. It's all about hospitality, good manners, and sticking to old traditions. Southerners are known for their welcoming personalities, eagerness to lend a helping hand, they'll even hold the door open, and invite you in for a meal. During our first exploration trip to North Carolina, my wife Erin and I visited Brookdale Village, stopped by a Starbucks coffee shop. As we were leaving, a woman noticed Erin had her hands full. She rushed over to open the door for her. Now I realized this was a small gesture, but it set a positive tone for our week-long visit and was just the beginning of our experience with Southern Charm. Our second encounter was at a local church service the following day. We were spotted by a member who invited us to have lunch with them after the service. Although we offered to pay, they insisted on covering the bill, even though it was entirely unnecessary. Since that day, we've remained good friends. We've shared a lot of experiences together, including some delicious outdoor catfish fries at their place. If you're considering a move to the area, it's important to approach it with an open mind and positive attitude. Don't be in a hurry, as that will get you nowhere really fast. 
no pun intended. The warmth and generosity of the locals will quickly win you over. There are some of the friendliest people you'll ever meet. But I will say this, they won't take kindly to any newcomers trying to rock the boat and mess with the culture. My advice is to just make sure you always bring your appetite, your manners, be sure to leave any negativity or drama behind before you arrive, and all will work out just fine. Despite being a significant decision to move across the country, Aaron and I have no regrets and have fallen in love with our current way of life here in the South. The lower cost of living in North Carolina has allowed us to pursue activities and experiences that were not within our reach before. We can travel when we want without driving hours to the airport. We've got the beach and the mountains a short distance away. Lake Norman has become our new home. If you might be considering relocating, buying or selling real estate in the Lake Norman area, feel free to reach out to me directly at one of the various ways I have listed below in the description. And be sure to check out our next video right over there. I'm gonna break down everything you wanna know before buying a waterfront property on Lake Norman. All right, until next time, friends, hope to see you on Lake Norman.